I'm still uh, trying to get my thoughts together on how I exactly I feel about the fight. I mean, we knew it was coming. And then if Deontay Wilder does win, it'll likely be um, Adam Kwanowski next. Polish heavyweight sensation. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. We cover every single major fight live. So it is 8.39 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, May the 28th, 2019. Anthony Joshua, WBA Super World, WBO, IBF, and the highly coveted Jade IBO champion, heavyweight champion, is taking on Andy Ruiz this weekend, June the 1st. He had his media um, a public workout today. And just so happened the news came out that while the versus Ortiz was going forward, and now it's been officially announced by Deontay Wilder. And of course, we're waiting for the um, the date and the um, the venue. The rumors, according to the LA Times, are going to be, it's, it's supposed to be um, likely taking place in LA in the Staples Center. September the uh, 7th is a date that they're going for. And it's a quick turnaround for Deontay Wilder. I like it. And it's a chance for him to get back out in December or, or January. And then him and Fury. Now remember, Deontay Wilder's got to win these fights. We all saw what Luis Ortiz was doing the first fight. And a lot of, and a lot of people, including myself, was like, yo, Luis Ortiz looked like he done when he fought uh, 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 Christian Hammer. You know, but maybe he wanted to look that way. You know, he's had three fights since getting knocked out by Deontay Wilder. Razvan Kujano, Travis Kaufman, and uh, Christian Hammer. No real test at all. And now he's back. In my opinion, it's some type of political, you know, move that they're, you know, be, because Luis Ortiz, to keep him away from Anthony Joshua, they had to promise him Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder's betting on himself. They're trying to turn him into some superstar you know, this knockout pay-per-view superstar. And the question now is, a lot of people feel that, okay, Showtime and Al Heyman, from what we understand, um, or the rumors, he overpaid to keep Wilder versus Brazil off of um, uh, pay-per-view, but also to make sure Wilder was compensated for turning down at $100 million that, I'm sorry, I guaranteed money, you know? From my understanding, the zone was offering him twenty million to fight Dominic Brazil, and he and Dominic Brazil would have got a huge payday as well, and then forty million for um each for uh, two Joshua fights. Now, of course, one has to ask, well, how much was Joshua getting? Whatever the case may have been, now Joshua's team, Eddie Herndon, and they want to talk. They want to sit down and talk. But as we've as we've as we've seen, and now we and now it's been confirmed. Deontay Wilder and his team already have their path set out. The path is already set out, and he's been saying that Anthony Joshua is not in the 2019 plans. And it was brought up in a previous video that Hearn and his side, um, um Barry Hearn said it wasn't in, in until the 2020 plans. You know, all that back and forth, he said, she said, shit, I don't give a fuck about none of that. People really, well, boxing fans really want to drag me into that shit. They want me to pick a side. I'm going to give my opinion, and right now, even though I like Luis Ortiz, I don't like I, I, I don't like this strategy. You know, I don't like everybody can't be Mayweather I, in this heavyweight boxing. Anybody can Anthony Joshua can get knocked out by Andy Ruiz this weekend. He can. Will it happen? We don't know. Luis Ortiz can knock out Deontay Wilder. Then what? These guys are gambling, man. This is a deadly ass game these dudes are playing. You know, look at Unc Unc Ortiz. He's listed at 40. I think that motherfucker like 47. I'm just joking. I like Luis Ortiz, you know? But I do think he like 47. Because, you know, like them Cubans, when they come over here, man, they can be any age they want to when they get off the boat. You know, get whole new social security card, birth certificate and shit. You know, you can be, and I think that's why he don't never, like, have his beard. You can even see a little bit of grays in there. But we knew what was coming. You know, we, we knew that shit was coming. I don't even know what I think. Honestly. 
However, let's see if they try to squeeze this on pay-per-view and how many pay-per-view buys is it going to do? Remember, we already they're already trying to do Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia on pay-per-view. You know, and then we hearing that um, Errol Spence versus Sean Porter could be on free TV. You know, I'm guessing they want to have that around like, you know, the opening of football season and all that shit. You know? It's a lot of, you know, it's a lot of shit going on over the PBC side, man. But I'm going to support the fight. But like I said, I, I don't I don't like this logic. I don't like this logic. I don't like this logic. You know, I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy. Level Fight View 360.com. Please subscribe.